सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अर न्यू वीडियो सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द वन डायमेंशनल प्रॉब्लम्स इन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स सो कंसिडर अ माइक्रोस्कोपिक पार्टिकल परफॉर्मिंग वन डी मोशन अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ अ टाइम इंडिपेंडेंट पोटेंशियल वी ऑफ एक्स एंड द श्रॉडिंग एर इक्वेशन डिस्क्राइबिंग द डायनेमिक्स ऑफ दिस पार्टिकल इज गिवेन बाय दिस इक्वेशन ओके नाउ द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन विल गिव अस द एनर्जी आइगन वैल्यूज ई एन and the corresponding wave function phi and x so now let's discuss the general one dimensional potential v of x here on the x axis x goes from minus infinity to plus infinity such that the value of v at x equal to minus infinity is v1 and the value of v at x equal to plus infinity is v2 also we have a minimum potential v minimum which is smaller than v1 and v2 now let's discuss the condition for bound state when energy spectrum are discrete and unbound state where energy spectrum are continuous bound states occur whenever the particle cannot move to infinity that is it is confined at all energies to move within a finite and limited region of space as you can see in this curve for energy e lesser than v1 bound state occurs and the particle is confined between x1 and x2 also the wave function psi and x of a one dimensional bound state has n nodes which implies that psi and x vanishes n times now let's discuss the unbound state so for this given curve unbound state occurs for two cases so let's discuss them so for case 1 e is lesser than v2 and greater than v1 here particle motion is infinity only towards the negative x direction that is particle can move between minus infinity to x3 that is from here to from this side minus infinity so for case 2 our energy e is greater than v2 here the particle motion is infinite for negative and positive x direction so in both the cases of the unbound state the energy spectrum as you can see is continuous so for bound state we saw that the energy spectrums were discrete and for unbound states the energy spectrum were continuous now let's see what are mixed energy spectrum for example finite square wave potential and coulomb or molecular potentials so we can say that potential that confines the particle for only some energies give rise to mixed spectra and the motion of the particle for such potential is confined for some energy values only as we saw here that solving this schrodinger equation will give us the energy eigen value and the corresponding wave function psi and x we can apply this schrodinger equation to various one dimensional potentials some of them are the free particle where your potential v of x is zero and the particle is moving under no influence of any potential second is the potential step where you can see that there is a finite potential v not and suppose the particle is coming from here so if the energy of the particle is greater than v not it will pass through the potential step or if the energy is lesser than v not still the particle has a finite probability of passing the potential step third one is the finite and infinite potential well so as the name suggest a finite well may look like this for some v not finite potential and the particle might be coming from here for infinite potential well the walls will have infinite potential and the last one is the harmonic oscillator for harmonic oscillator the potential may look like this where these are the discrete energy levels of our harmonic oscillator for different value of n so thank you guys for watching this video and please like share and subscribe